Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, so this video that I'm filming today is very long overdue. And I say this because I've been wanting to sit down and film this for a long time, but I've set it back for my own personal reasons. I almost wasn't going to do this video, but I'm sitting down to film it because there are things that I've learned in 2016. Yes, I'm still talking about 2016. Um, <laughs> The reason I'm still talking about 2016 is because I wanted to sit down and talk about all the lessons that I've learned in that year and how it's going to help me grow in the year 2017 and so forth. And I, I don't think it's just for me. I don't think these lessons or things I've learned are just for me. I feel like if I put them out there, it could if it helps even just one person, like that'd be great. Like I, I just want to see if it means something to anyone else and I feel like it could. Now, I'm not a masterpiece. I haven't, you know, I'm still progressing. I, the things that I've learned, and just because I put them down on a piece of paper and I'm voicing it to probably, like, who knows how many people, it doesn't mean that I've got everything down right. I'm still messing up. I'm still making mistakes. I'm still, I'm still learning. And as, as is everyone. Hell, I can even call myself a hypocrite for a few or a few of these things, for even talking about these things, but then again, I don't call myself a hypocrite because what really matters at the end of the day is that you know where your wrongs are and where your rights begin. As long as you keep these values and principles in your own mind, one day you will allow yourself to put your own foot down and get things right for yourself. It's a learning curve. Life isn't just, you know, black and white. But yeah, so I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm babbling now, but we'll get into this video. I have like a list of things. Oh, and it's also, um, I also talk about my goals for 2017. Just, you know, small or big, just my own personal goals. Thought I'd put them in there. Okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> so the first thing that I've learned in 2016 big time is don't be afraid to voice your own opinions, your own thoughts, your own feelings. Do not feel like you have to abide by other people's expectations or other people's, you know, wants or desires or what they think because at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. You matter and you have to remember that. Like, along the way, you can lose sight of yourself. You can start to neglect yourself because you feel like you have to follow follow a certain path because of other people and that's not how you should live. For me, I spent so long and more so the past year containing myself and not giving my mind a chance to breathe and you know sometimes you need that for yourself, you need like time to yourself but at the, you can't always just shut your own mind out, you have to speak your voice and you can't be afraid to do so. Another important thing to note and remember is that it is okay to move yourself away from everyone and everything. Um, it's okay to get alone time. It's okay to kind of seclude yourself, but not in the very like negative way of where you become like a hermit. Is huh? that what that is? <laughs> but um, just in the sense that you know you give yourself a chance to breathe, and like this world can get very overwhelming sometimes. You may feel like you're getting suffocated, you know, just the walls are closing in by responsibilities or people, drama. And sometimes you need to step back and just process things for yourself. Everyone needs that to have a clear head and live, move forward with life in a healthy manner. And you just have to make sure you don't isolate yourself for too long or else you'll start to lose sight of the important things in life. Like what really matters, like your family or, um, you know, the closest people you have in life, you know? I remember late 2015 and early 2016, after the new year had come around, I moved myself away from everything and it felt so good. Like, I, that was the first time in my life that I was doing something for myself. I wasn't relying on the company of others. And so that was all good and healthy for some time, but then I had to snap back into reality and realize that it can become overwhelming being alone. So, you know, just do everything in moderation. <laughs> don't be afraid to tell people no, and don't be afraid to tell people yes. At the end of the day, you have to remember what you want and what is in your best interest. Sometimes it's easier said than done to, like, do things 
according to this, the feelings of other people and to spare those feelings for, of other people. But you can only do that so much and for so long until you have to step back and think, wait, what about me? You have to take care of yourself too. And, and as a way to do that, you have to tell people no sometimes and then you have to tell people yes sometimes. Um, you've never heard, I feel like a lot of people don't hear, you can say yes. It's mostly like, you know, tell them no, but there are some situations where you have to say yes. Like if a person asks you, do you want to be alone? Yes. If you, if that's really the case, you, you don't, you don't have to say no just because you're afraid of hurting the other person or whatever. You get it. It's easy to think I'm fine at the end of the day. It's easy to feel like you can rely on someone else to treat you right and to protect you, but no, because what it boils down to is that you only have yourself and you only should have yourself. And that's great if you have like, you know, it's amazing if you have like someone to, you know, as a support system, if you have people as a support system, but you can't always rely on other people. You have to make sure that you can stand on your own two feet. Always make sure to protect yourself emotionally, mentally, financially, in any aspect don't expect others to do that for you. If you can stand tall on your own two feet without having anyone help you up, you are guaranteed to like have a more positive outlook on life, a more confident outlook on life. Ooh, learn to love yourself. Okay, so I did a lot of this in 2016. Um, the learning process, man, it took me years and I'm still not fully there yet, but we all take our time. I've learned that if you yourself, like just in the past year, I've learned that if you can't, if you yourself can't hold, grasp your own value, your own importance, your worth, then you won't ever feel secure or truly happy with someone or with, without someone. Basically, like I said before, don't expect someone else to lift your spirits up or to hold your hand through things because you'll just end up relying on them. And sometimes reliance is okay, but sometimes reliance can get messy and toxic. And relationships. I feel like we shouldn't think about getting into relationships if we know ourselves that we have to grow mentally and emotionally and become stable ourselves. Without doing that first, I don't think that it's possible to have a stable relationship with someone else. Stability only exists when two people can accept their strengths, their weaknesses, their aspirations together and when they are accepted from within themselves. And oh my god, this hits home. Do not settle for anything. Do not feel like you have to accept what you're getting. You, I'm looking into the camera and I'm saying this to whoever may be watching you deserve the world. Please do not stick around in something that is toxic, whether it's a friendship or a relationship. That is not love. That is not real. Hold out for something so much more genuine. I promise you there is something else out there. Just because you feel like you're attached to this person or you feel like it's love, it's not. It's not because I promise you someone else will come along and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. And it's important to remember that if you yourself don't want to help yourself get out of these kinds of relations, then other people can't do it for you. They most, they more than likely are trying to help you get out of this or trying to convince you to just leave, but they can't get through to you. You know why? Because you're allowing yourself to stay stuck in that position. You're allowing yourself to think of reasons as to why you should stay. And truth is, there is no good reason why you should if it's toxic. You have to fight to move on to better things. And loving yourself also goes for loving your bodies. Happiness starts from within. You can't search for it in other people or in other things. You cannot seek solace. Because, I mean, I've been through all this. Seeking solace only gets you more down in the dumps, it gets you more disappointed, it, because, I mean, literally, like, you're searching for it, you're not gonna find it because it's within you, you have to find it within yourself, you have to, you know, allow it to come out. 
Along the way, you need to learn to love yourself enough to know you deserve the best of people and the best of things in your lifetime. It is okay to not know where you're going in life or what you want in life and how you're getting there. Everyone feels stuck at some point in their life and for a very long time in their life. It may take months, it may take even years, but that is okay. None of us should have to settle for a career or abide by any certain expectation because that's not how a life should be lived. A life should be lived by your means and your desires. We only have one life, so we should all be able to like gradually discover our passions and pursue what genuinely makes us happy. And if that takes time, just know that, you know, so be it. You don't have to worry because Trust me, you're not alone in, you know, the process of finding yourself. Definitely takes time and you will find yourself. Okay, take chances and try new things. Most times, you have nothing to lose. Push yourself to test new limits um, with ease, you know, don't, you know, force yourself, but take it one step at a time. You constantly hold yourself back from things because of whatever it may be, fear or anxiety or, you know, just whatever it may be. You also won't learn because life is about, you know, making mistakes, you know, facing fears so that way you you grow from everything. It's also going to take me time to get used to or to like grasp the idea of not fearing rejection or judgment. But I'm okay with that because I know what it takes to get through that. I know that you ha that one day I'm just going to have to, you know, face something new and just push myself because I'm not on this earth for no reason. I'm not on this earth just to sit back and watch other people accomplish things. I'm here to make a difference too. And so, and so is everyone else. So are you guys. Don't let people or life itself control or dominate you. If you do allow that, you will be thrown around mercilessly, merc 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 right? <laughs> Take control of your own life, take it into your own hands, and make what you want of it. Don't wait for other people to tell you how to do things or show you how to show you how to do things or you know, do things for you or or even or even worse, just demand you to do things the way they want it. Never let someone become that dominant role in your life and never allow yourself to become their submissive. But also remember that you have to learn to accept things and accept that not everything is meant to be, and what is not meant to be will not be, and what is meant to be will be. But you have to allow yourself to try and to strive for it. But sometimes you have to stop when it's just becoming unhealthy for you or unhealthy for someone else or just unhealthy in general. But if it's something, you know, that is healthy and you're pursuing it and you and you and it's your passion, then go for it. Do not let someone else stop you. And this is a big one. Um, it took me a long time to realize this and learn this and learn that it was okay. It's okay to be vulnerable. I used to get so down, you know, and would just think more down about myself for feeling down. And that's so wrong because it's okay to have nights or days where you just feel low. It's only healthy to release emotional and mental tensions here and there and to feel. It's okay to cry, it is okay to cry. The, but the important thing is, is that after you release anything that you, any emotions that you need to release, um, is that you remind yourself that, you know, okay, that's enough, and to snap back into a progressive mindset. Never let yourself take a step backwards. Always remember that, okay, keep it pushing and move forward, and never let anything get you down in the dumps for too long. <laughs> and going along with that, it's just, one of the most important things to remember that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. This is something that I never never believed in for a very, very, very long time. It may not always be easy to believe, but believe it enough that you always remember to keep it pushing even when things get tough. Never let yourself stay stuck in one mindset and in one place. Life and time keeps moving and we have no choice but to move along with it. Now for my 2017 resolutions, um, it's February 4th, what am I doing? No, it's not even February 4th. What's, okay, whatever, it's almost midway through February. Let's not call it resolutions then. Cut. Let's not call it that. We'll just call it goals. 
Um, my first goal is to learn to love myself more and more. I can say that I, I've learned to love myself a lot in the year 2016, but for 2017, I want to become, like, you know, more confident. What was this? I don't know what that was. <laughs> to become so much more confident with myself and to, you know, break down my own barriers. You know, I just want to become so confident, so strong, and so independent that I never let any negativity bring me down, whether it be unnecessary people or unnecessary situations slash drama, you know, just, you know, confident, independent, strong, enough. <laughs> uh, I want to steer clear of toxicity because that's all I've ever known for the past few years. I want to become emotionally and mentally stable enough so that I can begin to see a stable and loving future with someone else and just with myself, within myself. To grow financially and individually. I guess like what I mean by that is I want to have a job that I'm good at and just happy with for the time time being but also to grow my YouTube platform, my you know just social media platform. I want to reach and surpass my goals as a social influencer and 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 I say that because the only thing I really want to do is inspire and, you know, just make a living off of that. Side note, I also want to get um, an apartment um, of my own as like a young adult, you know, growing up and um, going to school and, you know, because it's just always what I like dreamed, you know, I want to move out on my own and just learn to live with myself, maybe with a roommate before, you know, I have a future. And this would be awesome, I want to travel. I want to travel with friends and maybe more with family. Um, I just want to see the world. I want to make so many more memories. I want to take pictures. I want to take videos and just remember new places. You know, who doesn't want to do that? To successfully cope with college and also my aspirations at the same time. Because that can get hard and tricky. Um, I know that a lot of people feel that way. It's hard to just, you know, even have a job and college and um, you know, just try to do something on the side. It's just hard. So I hope that I can cope with that, you know, um, and still make a success out of everything that I'm doing. To not fear rejection and judgment so much and to start to feel less socially anxious. Um, and I guess like, I feel like I got a little anxious just saying that. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to work on that. Just to feel confident with myself, to be around so many people and to engage with new people because you need that in life, right? Like you can't just be a hermit. Um, and I have to say it's because um, social anxiety has stopped me from doing so many things in my life and it still is. So I really want to work on that. To get my driver's license, um, I still don't have my license because because I kind of just always like put that aside um, for the time being, whenever. <laughs> but I really want to get my driver's license this year, hopefully, and maybe a car. Just kidding, that most probably will not be happening this year. But um, you know, my parents want to provide me with one. I'm kidding. Yeah, probably won't happen until I have enough money for myself. But you know the option to drive would be nice. I'm a simple girl. Like, I would just like to go to Starbucks by myself without, you know, buses. This was also an important one for me, to change up my bad habits, which are sleeping late, waking up late, to stop being late to everything. I feel like this is a red flag to everyone that who knows me is watching because, yikes, like, everyone hates me for this. I'm late to everything, and I need to stop that. Um, and to just be healthy in every aspect, um, whether it's, you know, nutrition-wise, mentally, emotionally, you know, all that stuff. And last one, um, as broad as it may be, I don't know, is to have created inner happiness, genuine happiness, like overall happiness and overall inner peace within myself. And I know that won't take just one year, but it starts somewhere. Yeah! So yeah, I think that that is all that I have to say. Um, again, I just want to stress the fact that as much as I may be preaching all of this right now, I don't have everything, you know, figured out. Um, and that's okay. I just felt like I'm proud that, you know, I hold these beliefs or values or lessons that I've learned close to my heart and, you know, just at the surface of my mind. And as long as I keep remembering these things and I keep telling myself these things, one day I will get it right, like I said before. And I hope that, you know, any of this, like, helps someone, like, the lessons and things to have learned aspect of this video. And, 
yeah um please leave a comment down below if you have anything to say um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please i would love it if you did <laughs> um more new videos will be coming i will see you guys in my next video I can't get too close to you